Hello and welcome to MCC Tilt Season TV International Show. My name is John David and I'm the Business Department Coordinator and also I'm the host for this show. Today's show is a little bit different. Uh, as a matter of fact, it will be informal show. A uh, couple weeks ago, I took six students uh, to Amman, Jordan on a study abroad program to Amman, Jordan. And we spent nine days there. And today, I'm hosting two of the six students here on this show to share their experience and everything they learn, hopefully, while they are in Jordan and in Amman, to share that with you, the audience, our audience and everybody who watched this show. So allow me to, first of all, welcome my two students, Corey and Christy. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having us. How do you feel now coming back from Amman, Jordan? Uh, good to be back. Good to be yes. back. It's good. It's good. Did you relax now? So no jet uh, yeah, no more jet lag. Yeah, all, jet all caught up. and Perfect, perfect. Well, uh, I would like to start by asking each one of you to introduce yourself, please, so that our audience get to know uh, your name, what you do, your major, uh, if you work, what kind of work you do, uh, and things like that, please. Uh, my name is Christy Miller, and i um, 24. I'm a business uh, student now after an interior design degree at uh, Scott Community College. Um, I work at First National Bank in loan operations um, and I like it there and that's honestly one of the um, jobs that got me inspired to be a business student and um, um, that's it. That's the most important. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Yeah. Uh, my name is Corey Kramer. Uh, I'm studying finance I work at U.S. Cellular here in Muscatine, selling cell phones and the service. Um, I'll be transferring to another school in fall, and well, I'm, I'm still deciding between two. I have one in Texas and one here back in Iowa that I'm still deciding between. It's a little bit about me. Good, good. I'm, I'm glad to hear that. And uh, I, I want to start with like your future plans well once you finish with mcc what are you planning to do like corey you just mentioned a couple of things about like moving after that so can you give us more information about that and same thing with christy also. definitely uh, so i plan on double majoring in finance and economics um, and getting my degrees in both in both fields and then i would like to pursue something in investing um, i've been thinking a lot about investment banking lately so that's I, would like to, I would like to that stay in that field, really yeah, field. Very. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. That's good. Christy, any plans for the future? I don't have any plans. Um, some hopes of owning my own business, whether it's, uh, I originally wanted to do interior design and, you know, I want to stay in Muscatine, so if there's not a very big um, audience for that, then I'd probably stay in either daycare, because I love children, or uh, I'd stay in banking. Either or Either would be a, a great, definitely option too. I mean, I mean, I love banking. I mean, you are in in the and and call it same thing. You know, yeah, you just mentioned investment banking. I mean, that that can be really a very well, a very good uh, field and uh, well paid field if if you get to work with the right bank and the right financial institution. I I wish both of you definitely the best of luck. Uh, well, we, we're gonna talk a little bit about the trip now. Uh, first of all, let's start with a very simple question. Why did you decide to go to Jordan? I mean, is, is it like, well, you decide because you want to try something new? What was the reason behind that? Go ahead. <laughs> um, when I first got out of high school, I, when I was still an interior design major, I went to Iowa State and was told to, you know, I had five years there. I was really looking forward to a study abroad program there where we would go to Rome. Uh, bottom line, I could not afford the university, so I decided to, you know, give up my experience on a university and a study abroad. So I come back here and decide to do business, and there's an opportunity to go study abroad. And oh, I was so excited, and it wasn't just the study abroad experience, it was the fact that it was inexpensive, and but it was worth every penny that I spent. And I would do it again. And so that was... That was the first reason, and then you gave us multiple more reasons <laughs> that you ended up being correct about. So, 
Thank you. Yeah. Cool. Uh, well, for me, it all kind of started uh, back in, I think we, it was macroeconomics when I, when I had you last semester, uh, and you first brought the idea to our class. Um, and I was, I was interested, and then you just, you just kept talking about it, and that, that really got me more interested, and I wanted to learn more and more about the culture. And I was planning on taking some sort of global studies class while at MCC, and it just got me thinking I would rather go and experience the culture rather than read about it in a textbook, and I think that would just be more beneficial, and I believe it absolutely 100% was more beneficial. So, so w w would you recommend that to other students, for example, in the future? I mean, oh, yeah. would you, like, if they ask you, and I don't know if people start talking to you, like, it's, it's, it's weird because, like, last night I was at the uh, a chamber annual dinner meeting and several business leaders here from Muscatine area talked to me about you know the trip they said hey John we, we read about the trip in the newspaper in Muscatine newspaper and uh, what a great experience for our for your students to experience and so on so so did you hear something similar from maybe your employer from your family from friends are you recommending, let's say, this trip to other people maybe next year? Or, or let's let's share some of this information with our audience also, and you know everybody who's watching this show. Yeah, definitely. Uh, for me, I I definitely endorse it to all my friends that come to M that go to MCC. I, they ask me about it, and I tell them that they missed out. That they they all tell me they wish they would have gone, and I, I I rub it in their face in a sense that they should have gone. It was such a once in a lifetime kind of experience. Um, and as far as my employers and family, uh, instantly they all wanted to see pictures and videos, obviously. And then the newspaper article came out, and people have, <laughs> they come into work, and hey, you're the guy from the journal, uh, what was that like? So I get to tell everyone a little bit my story, uh, what I experienced. And so, yeah, I would definitely recommend it to just about anybody. Mm -hmm. Christy? Yeah, any opportunity I can get to get the word out that this is an amazing experience, and it's well worth the money, too to any MCC student, any high school students coming into MCC, yeah. And, and, and I know uh, while there we experienced too many things, too many visits to different places, the college, classrooms, and all that stuff. But if, 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 if you can think of one thing that you would like to highlight about the whole trip, what would you, what would you say? I mean, what would be the, the one thing that you would like to highlight? Whether it's like a funny story, something that you notice in the street, the college, I mean, anything. <laughs> and and I, I know we had good time there. Uh, we learned a lot from our partner, Al Quds College there also, a very strong partner. And I'm very proud to say that we do have that strong partnership with Al Quds College in Amman. But what would you say? <laughs> I thought these questions were going to be easy. <laughs> Not an easy question, right? No, no, I can't come up with anything that uh, there's way too much going through my head right now. Right. Maybe the as far as like sites that we saw and as far as that goes, for me it was the Dead Sea. I mean it's a long it's a long journey there. It's like a three hour trip I think. Uh, but the, the the drive is definitely worth it. I mean you get there and you get to the Dead Sea, you see everyone floating. I mean that's really cool to see everyone's floating, but then you just kinda take in the scenery. Um, in, the, in the environment that you're in and just see Jericho across the way and then you have uh, Jerusalem and there's just so much history and everything going on. It's just, it's, it's a really relaxing place to go and just kick back. And you don't even have to get in the water. Just sit there and relax and take it in. I might have to say the same thing. The trip to the Dead Sea was great. Even the bus ride there and back was <laughs> everything. Uh, there wasn't a downtime at all. Um, yeah, looking over across, right as the sun was setting, the sun was peeking through the clouds over the Dead Sea, and you're looking over into Jerusalem. That was amazing. It was a really touching moment. And another one would be being able to uh, communicate with the students mm -hmm. and talk to them about their culture, lifestyle, anything. How, how, how do you like, I mean, uh, and I notice, you know, uh, I noticed that you guys got to talk to you know, different students, you visited different classrooms, uh, you exchange ideas and so on. Are they different than our students here, than you, for example, here in the United States? Are they the same? I mean, uh, and I noticed you guys talk to them. So, so how do you feel about that? I don't feel like they're any different as far as being a person and being in school and how they go about their daily lives. I don't really think they're any different than we are. 
I think some of their lifestyles might be different. Just you know, they wear different things. And but a lot of them, a lot of the students, I was surprised how similar they dress. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and you know, and, and you know, we are, as we are talking about this trip, uh, our our producer Chad Bishop, and many thanks Chad for all your help and and for everything you do for the show. And, and you know, soon he will start rolling some of the pictures from our trip to Amman, Jordan. So if we can start like sharing, once you start seeing the pictures, if you start uh, show, uh, sharing with, the stu with everybody and our audience, uh, some information about some of those pictures that we see on the screen. That one's outside the, the digital photography um, and digital designing uh, studio that they have there. That was really, really neat to go in and see how, because I think they were making like video games and stuff on their computers. Yeah, so just seeing like that was really cool. seeing the technology and everything that they have, um, that was that was amazing to see. And then they kind of showed us like a tutorial video or a demo video on what they do in, in their studios. And then we got to see, isn't that the same floor where the mixer's on, where they yeah. produced Avatar? Um, there's three of them in the whole entire world, and one of them's at this college in Amman. That was really cool to see that. Yeah. yeah. Uh -oh. So what do we see now? <laughs> <laughs> the giant mosque. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, well, as you see here, for example, there is a picture of Corey and also my counterpart at Al Quds College. Uh, uh, Samir, uh, Samir is a great friend of mine. We have been working together on several projects with Al Quds College for for almost like two years now. And this is like a visit to what they call King Abdullah uh, Mosque in, in almost downtown Amman. So, so if if you would like to share anything about that experience, going into the mosque, uh, anything. So it's up to you guys. For me, not necessarily just about the mosque. It's where the mosque was placed. There's a Christian church just right across the street, literally maybe 30 feet away. Um, just to see that unity of the two religions, just in, it's it's a symbol of that they are unified and there's no there's no difference. And uh, a lot of the people that we spoke to in Amman, uh, they like to tell us that they don't think of themselves as Muslims and Christians. They're all Jordanians. There there's no divide between the religions, and they don't think of Christians as minorities. That's good. Yeah, yeah, that's good. So as you see here, most of the pictures are for the group pictures. As you see, like we had six uh, students that went on that trip, myself and, and also my counterpart uh, at Al Quds College. But what, what do we see here? That's an overlooking of the city. Everywhere yeah. you go, you see this beautiful view of all the housing. And, and it's all stone. Everything's stone. Yeah. It's so. wonderful. And it's almost next to the citadel right, in, right. in Amman. This this picture was taken. Okay. Who would like to share that story here? Because that's why all of us, I think, on this picture were laughing. <laughs> Who would like to share the story behind, you know, that laugh? Well, we when, just got done running up a really big hill. <laughs> we <laughs> had five minutes to get up there, grab a picture, and and view it really quick. We showed up, I think, when it was closing, and we talked to the the guards and they let us go through and that and it's was just a dead sprint to get up there just yep. to snap a quick picture. <laughs> okay, so it's just go there, yeah. take a picture, five minutes and come back. We are already closed, but anyway, we had good time. Yeah. We had good time. Yeah. So Okay. What do we see now? Inside the, uh, one of the classrooms. This was an accounting class. Right. That was cool to see. You know, I'm looking up at the board and you can't understand the language, but I turned to the girl behind us and she was she spoke English pretty well and she was very friendly and I asked so what class is this? She's like, It's accounting. And I was like, Oh, I'm not good with accounting and she's like, Me neither. I was like, So it's the same in every country. <laughs> so Yeah. Yeah. That was that was a great experience. Here we're at the chamber. Um, his name escapes me, but he was for me, he was the most interesting person to listen to. A uh, very, very wise man. Um, just knows a lot about business and in religion. He just and about being globalized and unified, um, and trying to keep from that divide between the Middle East and the West. Learned a lot from him. And 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 this is uh, at the 
Jordan Chamber of Commerce. Right. Uh, and uh, it was really a very fruitful meeting because, uh, as I mentioned, like I, I'm looking forward to meet with our Chamber of Commerce uh, President CEO, uh, Bill Phelan, and, and exchange also the ideas and the and everything we discuss at that meeting with him and you never know we might also you guys went to study abroad there but you might be like the the seeds that starts also some businesses between Muscatine and Amman yeah. because of that, that so be cool. so yeah so it was a great meeting so I'm feeling hungry now <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, wait. oh yeah. man so, so what food. do we see here oh, appetizers Appetizers. All appetizers. Real food. <laughs> and and in in the Middle East, usually would be before we start, you know, our main course. Usually we always start with things like that, which we call appetizers. And and I'm sure a lot of people here in in, in Muscatine, you know, when I talk to them, a lot of them heard about hummus and and you know uh, tabbouleh and and all this stuff. So so you see sample of our appetizers in the in the Middle East, uh, how, how they start their food usually and their meal usually starts with something like that. So I really feel hungry now, so <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> so, uh, so Christy, I, I think this particular place meant a lot to you. And yes. I want to specifically ask you about this place, the, the Islamic Art Center yes. here. So we are here at a meeting with uh, one of the instructors there. So can you tell us something about that visit? Um, well, I'm not 100% sure if they said that all the woodwork in there is done by the students. That was, I mean, they have carvings through the wall, just the most precise, beautiful design. Um, and the lighting was my favorite part. Uh, I saw pieces of furniture that I studied in my interior design classes and that was really exciting. This is the place where I could not stop taking pictures. And so what do we see now? This was the Ministry of Education, uh, one of your good friends. Uh, we got to go there and learn about the school systems in Jordan. Um, just we spent maybe like an hour speaking with him, which, uh, which was really cool. He's a really good, cool guy to listen to too. He's very, very intelligent too, and I believe you said he sits down with the king yeah, which, which I thought that was pretty cool to sit, sit down with a guy that sits down with the king of the entire country. Yeah, and 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 uh, hopefully you know I mean they uh, they suggested that maybe we we'll start looking into maybe uh, some sort of programs that where you know maybe as a college we we'll start sending some students and faculty and all staff who has some sort of interest in learning Arabic language uh, as a language and through Al-Quds College, which we have a great partnership with. So this is also another idea that we need to discuss with our leadership here at, at MCC and at district from the Chancellor to uh, Jeff Armstrong, the Vice Chancellor and so on, and see if, if, if we can do anything about that. Yeah, but it was a good meeting. So what do we see now? No. Oh. Shopping. <laughs> Shopping, downtown Amman. Yeah, well, can you describe what this guy was doing here uh, with, with the color, uh, coloring, you know, sand or something like that? I don't know the correct term, but, you know, he was, he was doing art with different colors of sand through, uh, you know, just pouring it just in the like bottle. A funnel, and, yeah. Yeah, and he had all these tools where he just made the most tiny little details with very interesting thing to see. Yeah. yeah. Just right off the side of the street. I mean, it's <laughs> yeah. not like uh, some specialty store or something. He's just there, a guy on the st side of the street there. I used to play with that stuff when I was younger, right. but to see it professionally done is really cool. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. This is Mount Nebo. This place was pretty inspirational. I thought it was yeah, pretty breathtaking to see the scenery there. Being a religious person myself, standing there looking over the Holy Land where Moses once stood was really really cool. Christy, what are you doing <laughs> here? <laughs> Making a wish. <laughs> <laughs> Lighting a candle, right? Mm -hmm. uh, wh where is that, if you just give the audience an idea about where is that church that we visited and some information about that church? It's a Greek Orthodox church in Madaba and um, they have uh, pieces of mosaics that they collected and, and put into this church and that was really cool. Um, we got to see everything from 
the designing and the floor from thousands of years ago, I think you said? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the Dead Sea, everyone on the... Who always ready to take a picture I on am. the side of that picture? Why? Uh, that's me. Yeah, we're all yeah. trying to balance on that yeah. thing. And the, the, waves. To balance. Yeah. the waves were crazy. So, so, so you, you, can you describe really the experience, guys, about the Dead Sea? I mean, the water. I mean, how heavy is the water? How, you know, how, there's no way you can sink. I mean, everybody right. just floats <laughs> in there. So. It, was it was a weird experience walking into it. You feel like it's just air hitting you. It's, there's no weight to it. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've seen anyone more excited than Sean was when he jumped in. And he just Sean, Sean, Sean was a great, he was, great sport guy he was, with he us. He was having so much fun in the water. He couldn't believe that he was floating on the water and not sinking. <laughs> that was great. Yeah. Petra. Okay, what's, 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 I mean, if you, same thing, if we give some information about Petra to our audience, what would... How was your experience there? Well, I mean, can you describe it a little bit, what you did there? It was really, really cold when we first got there. Uh, probably the coldest day that we spent in Amman. Uh, and we had to decide, do we want to go here or do we want to go to the Red Sea where it's warmer? And we ended up uh, staying here and taking the, it, I think it was a two mile walk back to the city of Petra. Um, just seeing the stonework and then getting to the, the actual opening here uh, and then there was guys with camels. We got to see John try to get up on a camel. That was. <laughs> I that didn't was, put that picture by the way. <laughs> I got a good one on someone's picture. Yeah, I don't know, yeah. Yeah. Camera, I don't know where it went. Yeah, but it's it's this is the uh, the exact place uh, where they film Indiana Jones right. uh, movies. As a matter of fact, this is the exact place, and and this is exactly in front of that theater there. So again, group picture with the traditional, you know. Uh, Jordanian uh, guard uh, that that you see there, and as you see, you know, like, look at the pictures. Everybody's having fun. Yeah, yeah. good time. Yeah. Right when we got yeah. there, it was you know it was windy and cold, and thought, okay, two mile walk through this, it's great. <laughs> the two mile walk seemed like, like five ten minutes. Yeah, it wasn't it was anything. Seeing all that rock and all the carving through it was just, you were there within. Seconds, and it was definitely it worth like it. It was, it was definitely worth yeah. the walk to see that. There's the camels. <laughs> and here is uh, Maria, our student senate uh, president, and also a student that uh, took on this trip. Uh, here you see her like riding the camel mm -hmm. in, in Papa. So it was a great. Did did you guys do that? Uh, I, I think you did. Christy, 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 right? right? So yeah. wh 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 <laughs> tell us something about that. So <laughs> well, I've ridden them before at the fair, but okay. this was. I had to do it in Jordan too. So, <laughs> so it's right. different, yeah. yeah. It's different, yeah. Okay. And climbing the uh, the walls of Petra. The walls of Petra, right? right. So it, it it was really a fun thing to do was, this yeah. and and go like to like a height, certain heights like that, and look down and see that. Yeah. So. So with that, hopefully you know that everybody enjoyed seeing the pictures and watching the pictures with us here. Uh, my, my next question to you, would you consider to go back again? And uh, if you go back, would you do the same thing? Would you go and visit other places? Uh, wh wh what would you do like, if, if you decided to go back? I would most definitely go back as soon as I could. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I think I'd spend more time at the Dead Sea. It was a little chilly that day, so I'd go back. And okay. I don't think it matters. I think I'd always want to go back and visit the Dead uh -huh. Sea. But. Do, do you, I mean, are you planning to, because uh, we talk about like maybe having some sort of a communication, building some sort of communication between the study abroad program now, you guys at the students that you interacted with. So what, what do you think about this idea? Do you think it will be a good idea to keep that communication going uh, for you guys and also for groups that will be visiting in the future? Absolutely. I think we, it's a great idea, yeah, um, to keep us. I, I mean, I wish we would have had more interaction. I mean, we had so much stuff to do there. I wish we would have had some more interaction with the students, mm -hmm. um, get, them know, get to know them a little better. Um, but I think that creating the group um, and interacting with each other back and forth, I think that'll create um, very strong relationships. And I think that's necessary because there is such negative light shed on the Middle East, as, as same thing in, the, in America, there's negative light. So 
to kind of get past that and just build bonds with each other and strengthen our relationships. Mm -hmm. That's good. I'm glad to hear that. And hopefully we'll put together uh, a Facebook maybe right. page or something like that that we connect. Because even even the people at the chamber and, and, and the, the deputy minister for higher education, all of them are uh, asking me that, can, can we continue that? They send me emails, can we continue <laughs> that communication? It's, it's good for, for, I think, for you guys and also for their students and their part. Uh, again, especially, you know, w w once, once you put the two groups together and let them communicate and talk, and especially if we are getting some visitors from them, some students to visit our college also, and you and other students go next year also and visit, I think that would be really a good uh, seeds to, to start planting now so that students can look into that before even they go and, and start building that relationship and friendship with other people. Uh, well, I would like to give each one of you a minute and you can say whatever you want to say. I mean, and that's fine with me. So uh, it doesn't matter who would like to start, Corey or Chrissy, you decide, guys. Maybe. You have a minute and say whatever you want to say. Uh, I guess I would like to say that I thoroughly enjoyed my experience there. It's totally worth every penny spent on this trip. Um, I would definitely advise student, non-student, just to, if, if they have the opportunity to take a trip like this, to take it and experience the culture. Just broaden your knowledge and your globalization of the entire world. Don't stay so centered on your world at home. Um, I just, it's an amazing experience and I think everyone should experience something like that in their lifetime. Thank you. Thank you, Corey. Christy. And I myself, I've, I'm a family person. I get homesick when I'm away for more than a week. And, and every trip that I've ever taken for, you know, week vacations with family, I'm even with family and I get homesick. I just want to go home. So before I took this trip, I was thinking, okay, well, <laughs> I'll have to think of some, some negative reasons of coming back and try not to worry about not being home and being so far away. It's my first time out of the country too. By the end of the week, I was, I was literally almost in tears. I, I was not ready to come home. A week wasn't long enough and I can't wait to keep, I'm still studying the culture. I'm still practicing it as much as I can. Um, and I can't wait to go back. I'm glad, glad. Thanks a lot uh, for both of you, first of all. Uh, for going and experiencing that new culture and, and, and you study abroad and being part of that program. Uh, it's always a pleasure for me to bring people and uh, to this show and ask them to share their stories with our audience. And that's, I think, very important because we get to know each other. We get to learn about each other more as we start our dialogue and as we start talking to each other about different things. Uh, at the end, we are all a human being, and, and that's very important. Regardless where we live, we are all a human being. And I'm, I'm hoping that uh, uh, everybody who's watching us now, uh, hopefully you enjoyed uh, this informal, I will call it, gathering here from two of my students who went on this study abroad program to Amman, Jordan. I'm hoping that you enjoyed the information that they shared with you as you are watching this program. And as I always say, if you have any questions and or comments, please call me at 288-6064, or you can email me at jdebeat at eicc.edu. Till next time, Muscatine, bye-bye.